If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. This is the Bishop Scott Gerard show. This is Bishop Scott Gerard. And uh, we're doing 30 days of prayer. This is day 11. Day 11 of 30 days of prayer. And I hope you all are still hanging in here with me. I know it's quite a task. Some of us ain't prayed in a long time. But this is a reason to pray. This thing that we don't name on this show is taking people out of here. And it's uh, becoming quite a disaster. But we still trust in God no matter what. We know that the Lord will will make a way out of no way. Because he's done it before. And we know for a fact that he will do it again. So yesterday, uh, well, I guess I kind of got hyped up. A um, friend of mine uh, passed away. From that thing but uh you know i can't I, I i gotta say it like it is i gotta say it like the lord give it to me and the lord is calling for us to pray we already didn't quoted the scripture we've been doing it every day if my people which are called by my name will what do what first thing is humble themselves and then what pray it didn't say humble yourself and preach. It don't say humble yourself. It don't even say to fast. It say humble yourself and pray. It didn't say humble yourself and sing. But humble yourself, pray, seek my face, turn from your wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, forgive your sins and heal your land. And we need a healing in this land on today. This is what we need. I didn't come to preach, but I want to encourage you to pray. I want you to click the like button, hit the bell so you can get my prayers every day. Share this uh, video with other people and even make your own prayers up and start posting them up everywhere. When somebody calls you and tells you something is wrong, the first thing that should come out of your mouth is, well, come on, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's stop trying to figure out where this thing came from, who did what, what 5G did, and all of this other stuff. We ain't going to never know the truth. Th that don't matter. The only truth we need to know is God's word. That's the real truth. Matthews 24, read that. You will see that what's happening right now in these days Jesus already then talked about it two over 2,000 years ago. He been said this. So for us that know the Bible and know the word, we not surprised and shocked at what's going on. So we the ones that need to be praying. All right. So let's go ahead and pray. I'm not going to hold you up no more, but we're going to go ahead and pray. I got some other stuff in my mind, but it'll keep until tomorrow. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you on today, God. We thank you for being so good, Lord. We thank you for... Uh, just allowing me to be a vessel to be able to help your people to to seek your face and to pray. God, help us, Lord, to turn from our ways, God. Lord, we got some ways, God, that we need to turn from, God. Help us, Lord. Give us the strength, the Holy Spirit, to be able to turn from our wicked ways, God. Lord, we don't want to be caught down here, Lord, being in the midst of an argument, a disagreement, uh, being angry, upset, or whatever sin that we're doing, God. We want to be right when you come, Lord, and help us to be right, God. Lord, we've been slipping and sliding and one foot on a banana peel, one foot in church, God. Help us to get focused and do what we're supposed to be doing, God. We know we need you. We need you now like never before. Because we got a thing that's going on in this land, God, and we don't got no answer for it, Lord. We don't have no solution for it. But you got the solution. You're the only one that can make this thing right, God. We need you, Lord. Move by your spirit. Touch somebody right now that's under, up under the sound of my voice. Do it, Lord, for your glory. Do it because I ask you and do it because you're able, Lord. Now, go, Lord, go to the hospital, Lord, and just touch the people that are in the hospital. 
Let them get up out that sick bed, God, with a miraculous testimony of a healing and a deliverance. Touch the frontline workers, Lord, that are dealing up close with the people that are in the hospital and the people that are sick, God. All of the, the nurses and the doctors and the respiratory therapists, Lord, and, and the ambulance drivers, Lord, the police, the firefighters, and, and even the people that's working inside of the grocery stores and all the stores that's just trying to help us to keep things normal. But we know, Lord, deep inside, Lord, that things ain't normal. It's not normal, Lord, what's going on, God, and we need you. We're crying out to you, Lord, on today, God. Do it for your glory, Lord. We want you to get the glory out of it, God. We know that you will. Hallelujah. We thank you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, listen, I want you to share this video. I want you to like it. Click the bell. Uh, let everybody know that you come in contact with that it's prayer time. It ain't time to be watching who, who got on the mask and all of that stuff, the mask singer and all of this different stuff that's on TV. That ain't helping us. That's just entertainment. We need spirituality and we need prayer. Not another preached message. Not another song sung. Not another living room concert. None of that. We need prayer. We got to get on our knees and talk to God. Come on, y'all. Let's do this. God is waiting on us. He wants us to cry out to him. And this is our opportunity to cry out to the Lord and see his delivering power. Because the Bible says that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. Amen. I'm done for the day. This is Bishop Scott Gerard on the Bishop Scott Gerard show. Listen, I love the Lord. And guess what? I love you too. God bless you.